All right, what's your pitch at the door? Go. Are you a leader? Uh, no. Stop. He is a fucking leader. And you know I'm gonna tell you, like, take your shirt off for a minute. Just take it off for a minute. I'm gonna show you guys something. This is about how he's going to fucking kill it selling solar. Okay, so guys, so this is gonna be quick. We're not gonna, I mean, I wanna spend 30 minutes with you guys and I'm gonna tell you how to change your life. Is that cool? Okay, so number one, let me borrow you for a minute. Brennan, come up here. So I'm gonna show you guys something real quick, okay? Now, how old are you, Brennan? 24. All right, guys, so think about 24 years old. What advantage does a 24 year old have over somebody who's 40? Youth. Uh, youth. What does youth mean? Energy. 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 How, do you ha how do you get energy? Working out. By by being in shape, by eating good food, by taking care of yourself. Am I right? Okay, I'm going to ask everybody a question here. Do you guys want to just make a lot of money and everything else, or do you guys want to be elite and get it all? Get it all. Okay, that's a lie. That's a lie, because if you wanted it, you would have it. Okay, what, what is something that you really like to do? Um, Outside of selling solar, what's your, what's your hobby? What do you like to do? I play guitar. Do you play it every day? Yes, sir. Okay. He likes the guitar, he loves the guitar, he finds time every day to play it because he loves it. Does that make sense? Right? Yep. Okay, does anybody have to tell you to go play it? Nope. That's the secret. He loves it. I wanna tell a lot of you in here, you guys say that you love something and you guys really don't love it. We might need to mute that. That thing right there is like chirping. Um, computer. Listen, a lot of you guys, I asked him a question. I said, hey, what is it that you love? What's your hobby? And he said, um, guitar. So I asked him, I said, hey, you want to win? You want to be elite, right? And he said, yeah. I said, no, you don't. Because the deal is, is if you're in solar, can you make way more than 70 grand? Yes. Okay, so he doesn't want what he said he wants. Now, listen, I'm going to tell you the truth. My goal is not to be a dick. I'm not being a dick. Has anybody watched any of my content? Okay, right? You, you guys know I have like certain like ways that I operate, right? Number one, I'm direct. What does that mean? Like, I'm going to tell you the truth. If you look like a slob, I'm going to tell you you look like a slob. If, if you look sloppy, I'm going to tell you you look sloppy. If you look like you don't care about yourself, I'm going to tell you, hey, dude, why don't you care about yourself? If you're not being good to people, why am I going to say, dude, why are you being an asshole? Right? If you're not being good to your family, I'm going to call you out. If you're not being in the gym and you're not taking care of yourself, but you know it's the right thing to do. See, so here's the society that we live in, and I'm going to tell you guys how to win. You guys, the way that he woke up and says, hey, I want to play the guitar, is the way that you need to feel about being elite. See, you guys all want to get rich, but clearly you don't want to get rich because if you did, you would already be rich. He wants to play the guitar. He finds time to play it in every day, no matter what's going on, no matter how stressful it is, he goes to that. So I'm going to tell you, I have non-negotiables, and that's a non-negotiable for him is playing the guitar. The guitar makes him happy. Okay, do you have a lot of money in the bank? No. Okay, does that make you happy? No. Okay. Think about what makes you guys happy. Who do you want to be? Do you guys see yourself naked in the mirror every single day before you go out of the house? Okay, do you like how you look? Do you like how you look? No. Yeah, f*** that. So what happens? We just go numb. We're just like, f*** it, man. I'm gonna wear a sweatshirt today. F*** it, man. I'm just gonna go through this. I gotta grind. I gotta make some money, but I'm gonna get time. That's all a lie. That's all a lie. The older you get, the harder it gets, too. Just so you're aware. I'm 44 years old, right? So I'm working out with Alex. He's fucking 29, <laughs> right? And I'm like, dude, like, you know, like you're 29 and I keep beating on him how important shape is, how important it is for him to stay in shape, how important it is for him to self-develop. So Alex started, just so you guys are aware, Alex started about last summer really diving into the, the training with us, right? And by the way, we'll call like, was it last, last summer? I mean, it was really June, July, August. It was really like August, October. August. Okay. Self-development. August. August of last year, self-development. He's like, I want a piece of that. By the way, this is not sales training. I'm not teaching a sales training. Sales training is like, how do we present? How do we pitch? And then repetition on that. And then someone holding you accountable to make sure that you practice until not, you get, not that you get it right, but you, you can't get it wrong. So you're just like, boom, 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 boom. like, what's your name? What's your address? What's your date of birth? What's your social? All right, what's your pitch at the door? Go. Okay, uh, pull up my phone. Knock. Okay, knock, knock, open the door. Hey, I was just hoping you could help me out real quick. I want to make sure I'm at the right spot. Is this still the Elliott residence? Yes. Okay, I'll be very brief. I'm not sure if you were around last Saturday between 1 to 3. Did you see that word truck parked at the end of the road there? No. Okay, it's just our engineers. We're working with a couple of the neighbors in the area. It has to do with this disclaimer that SRP sent to all the homeowners. Were you, were you one of the homeowners that received this? I don't know. Okay, it is pretty serious. Not trying to come down on you. However, it is important. 
SRP just raised our rates another 10% for the electric. Did you did you guys own the house last April when they raised our rates? Uh, we've had we've been here five years. Okay, so the reason we're out here is we're picking three more homes to use as reference points for a model home project. Now I don't know if your home's a good fit or not. That just means if you qualify, our company Tyco covers all the initial costs for you to produce your energy on site, nothing out of pocket. But if your bill's too high, we can't work with the home. So, do you know like what your lowest bill was recently? Okay. So number one. Hey guys, we'll get back to the video in a sec. If you're watching this video because you wanna level up in life and business, then one thing you gotta do is optimize your sleep. One in three people worldwide reported not getting enough good sleep every night. A big part of the why? Mouth breathing. Luckily for you, our sponsor Hostage Tape is your best friend when it comes to sleeping. If you're like me, You've probably also struggled with everything from insomnia, dry mouth, restlessness, snoring, headaches, sore throat, and even waking up with mental fog and grogginess because of mouth breathing by sleeping and didn't even know it. Poor sleep affects essentially every area of your health, wealth, and happiness. With hostage tape, you simply peel off a piece of breathable fabric, place it over your mouth before bed, and voila, several hours later, you wake up feeling refreshed and energized. If you're ready to feel focused, clear-minded, and energized, go to HostageTape.com and use code PASSION for 20% off your order today. Thanks to Hostage Tape for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to the show. That would be sales training. Does that make sense? So I'm not going to critique him on, I'm not going to critique him on what he says, or what, but that's sales training. Then I would do it again. I'd say, hey, do it again. This time, I don't want you to be nervous. This time I want you to do it again. I want you to believe in yourself. I want you to have a little charisma. I want you to have a little charismatic, right? And see how you just took a big breath? That means that he's practicing, okay? That's called sales training. Let me tell you why sales training won't work until you guys all can change. Until you change. Number one, you have to be a leader, okay? Are you a leader? Uh, no. Stop. He is a fucking leader. That's the first problem. How, how Do you guys want to follow somebody or do you want to spend money with somebody with somebody who's not a leader? Are you leading me to spend money with you? Yeah. Okay, but you're not a leader. You, but that's why I made 70 grand. I'm not being a dick. I'm trying to tell you guys, are you guys do you guys need to be leaders, yes or no? Yeah. Okay, you guys are leaders, so we're going to go through three things real quick. And this is, this is what this meeting this morning is about. Is number one, self-development will change your life. Once you get into it, I, be, I will tell you, there is a warning here. Be careful because once you get by the bit by the bug of understanding how fast you can self-develop, you want to fucking give everything you got to yourself. Okay. Once you spend a little bit of money on yourself trying to make you better, you're going to see this ROI that you haven't been able to see your whole life and you're going to be like, dude, I'm fucking going all in. That's crazy. Okay. When I got with Alex, we started together, right? Yeah. How much have you self-developed since we've been together? It's, I'm a new person new person how many people live their whole life into the same person by the way you're not giving credit to anyone else you're saying thank you anybody that is able to do something that I can't do or does something at a high level I want to be around you because I want number one I want to I want to learn what you're doing that's first and foremost but number two I want to steal the way you think I want to know how your mind operates and you guys can see people in the room you can see the people that believe in themselves you can see the people that don't you can see the people that are fucking shy you can see the people that are scared you can see it all you guys know all that bullshit you fucking labeled yourself. That's why you're operating that way. So you get around new people that don't have labels. You get around people that don't have fucking boundaries. Dude, I have no boundary. I have a nine figure business. I make a fuck ton of money. I have a good life. I love my wife. I'm in good shape. I take care of my team. I fucking am selfless. I do everything for everyone else before me. And that's why I get it. I love people. I love taking care of people. I want to be a human example of what human excellence looks like. I want to walk, when I walk around, I want to be a billboard, a billboard of greatness. In every way, shape, and form that I can possibly push myself, I want anybody that runs into me to be different after they run into me. So now, how do we do that with him? So I'm going to use him for an example, right? And you know I'm going to tell you, like, take your shirt off for a minute. Just take it off for a minute. I'm going to show you guys something. And I could grab him. I could grab him. I could grab you. I could grab you. So everybody write down discipline. Number one, you can't get anywhere without discipline. Would you agree? Okay, Alex, can you get anywhere without discipline? Okay. We don't want to wake up and go to the gym. Who goes to the gym in here? Raise your hand. Okay. Do you ever want to? I mean, number one, I want to go. Okay. So, so do the, everybody write this down. Do shit 
that is hard intentionally. Intentionally. Yeah, write it down. Because I'm going to walk him to how to be a leader. This time with him right now is how to make him a leader. This is not about him being out of shape. This is about how he's going to fucking kill it selling solar. This is how he's going to love himself and also have a good life and also help a lot of other people around you. I could have grabbed you. I could grab him. I, I want you to do this to you. My goal is I want you to do this to you. I want you to go tonight. I want you to get in front of the mirror and I want you to write this down. Discipline. And I want you to, as a matter of fact, I want you to write it on the fucking mirror. Discipline. And every day I want you to look at yourself in that mirror and I want you to ask yourself, how fucking disciplined do you look? Okay, number one, you tell customers that you're going to do stuff for them. Hey, hey, Mr. and Mrs. Customer, we're going to take care of this for you. Let me take care of that. You know, let's transfer the energy bill. Let's transfer from this bill to this bill. Let's go ahead and sit down at your table. Let's talk about this. Why? Why? You don't even look like you're taking care of yourself. How are you going to take care of me? That's rule number one. Can people see you? Yes or no? I know you guys got a heart. He may have the best heart ever, but I might prejudge him before he gets a chance to use it. Okay? I may prejudge him. Do you guys judge people? Yeah, you do. You guys judge everybody and they're judging you. You're judging them. Is this guy going to kick me off the, the porch? Is this guy going to be cool? Are these people going to be nice? You're trying to, you're judging them the second they open the door. What do they look like? Do they look like they're sleeping? Oh my God, did I wake them up? They ain't even said nothing yet. They're looking at you too. And they're like, why is this person on my porch? Why is this person here? Why is this person? Hey, what, what was the first thing you said to me? I was just hoping you could help me out. Yeah. I was just hoping you could help me out. I may be like, dude, what the fuck does this guy want? This is weird. Somebody opens the door and they say, I'm just hoping he could help me out. I better like you. Okay? So you guys need to become really likable. By the way, I want to, I want to tell you, I'm going to tell you why my training works. Because this is fucking real. This is how life really works. And people don't want to talk about this. You got these trainers, they want to like, oh, we're going to teach you guys some sales training. Bro, he don't need word tracks. He needs to work on his self-leadership. That's, that's number one. The word track is going to be great, but when he becomes who he needs to become, Alex was a great leader. But when Alex became a better leader, the team grew. When you guys become a better leader, you're going to sell more. When you guys become a better leader, you're going to have more confidence. Self-leadership is the most important thing. By the way, there's three steps to being a leader. And this is step one. So it's going to be discipline. So the discipline blade, the discipline edge, right? That's what we're working on. How, how sharp are you? How badass are you? When you look at yourself in the mirror, you're like, dude, I'm a fucking badass. I'm a badass. If not, no one else is going to change it for you. I can't make you get lean. I want to. I can't. I see you. I want, I want you to get lean. It's actually really simple too. It's not hard at all, but you can't do it without discipline. If I say, dude, for six months, how much do you weigh? 280. 280. How much do you want to weigh? 200. Okay. If he wants to lose 80 pounds, it's very simple. In six months, all he has to do, all he has to do, work out five days a week, an hour and a half of training in the gym. Can you give 6% of your day, 6% five days a week? You can do whatever the fuck you want with the other 94%, but can you give 6%? Yes. Okay. It takes discipline though, don't it? Put your fucking phone down, work on yourself. Now, you're going to consume good food, okay? You know the difference between good food and bad food, right? See, I don't need, he already knows this shit but he's not disciplined. And by the way, people get pissed off. People get pissed off when you fucking tell them shit they know that's wrong because they think you're fucking with them. Listen, losers hate criticism, winners love it. Winners love criticism because it gives them an opportunity to grow. And I'm gonna tell every single one of you right now, if I say something to you in this room and you fucking know that it's the truth, you better be like, dude, fucking thank you, I owe you, you're right. Now listen to me, the truth, when you hear it, you must act on it. You guys must act. The stuff that I'm telling you right now is going to completely change your life. So six months, 6% 6 of a day, five days a week in the gym, eat healthy food. He probably goes home at night and you probably kill everything because you're starving after working all day, right? It's the worst time to eat. And by the way, I'll give you a workout plan. The problem is you use it. Go on the internet right now, type in great workout plans. They all fucking work. You know what I'll tell you? You know the best diet in the world? The one, you'll, the one you'll use. That's it. So we are working with Alex on putting good food in his body. And we're asking him like, what food do you want to eat? Listen, once you decide pizza, grilled chicken, bison, turkey, fucking hamburgers, pasta, lasagnas. Dude, do you want to shred? If you want to shred, you got to eat clean. Dude, by the way, are you a Ferrari or are you a Ford Taurus? 
you're a Ferrari, yeah, what fucking kind of fuel do you put in a Ferrari? The best. Some of you guys in here, you're wondering why 70 grand happened. And I'm going to tell you what an amateur fucking sales trainer would do. We got to teach him how to influence. Motherfucker, only leaders can influence. Only leaders know how to influence because leaders are influential. He is not influential right now. And that means when he's out the door, the reason why he's not making money is because he's not leading anybody because he's not a leader. So he's not influencing anybody to move forward with him. He's not leading. He's not a leader. So what do we need to do? Step one is we need to become a leader. All of you, this will be the last day of your life you ever live where you don't take care of your health. The last day. So here's what we're going to do. Number one, 6% of your day. Okay, you're gonna fucking go to the gym five days a week. You're gonna put your phone down and you're gonna fucking grind. You hear me? You're gonna grind. You don't wanna look like you look right now, do you? Okay, then fucking change it. Shave your head. I would shave your head so fucking fast. I would shave his face. I'd fucking throw a tan on his ass. I'd be running him fucking five miles a day. I'd be making him, by the way, start doing routine. What did I say? Do things that are intentionally hard, right? Okay, so I'm gonna tell you guys all a little fucking secret real quick. Number one, in order for you to be a leader, I must want to choose you as my mentor. That means that you're running at a high level. When I see you, I'm like, I want to be like you. When you knock on someone's door, wouldn't it be cool if the person at the door was somebody that you wanted to be like? When you open, you're like, hmm, this is attractive. Oh, ooh, they seem kind of magnetic and cool. Hey, they got a good personality. Okay, cool, I like this. Hey, listen, they'll tell you none of that matters. They're fucking stupid. Who are they? Go show me their business. Go drive to their fucking business. I'll bet you they don't have one. If they tell you do, I'll bet they're fucking lying. Go look at their personal life. I'll bet they're full of fucking shit. The word tracks, the sales, all that stuff, it is physically useless until you get your shit right. By the way, can I ask you guys a question? You got one life, right? You got one life, right? Yes, sir. Fucking make it count, man. This is not about money. This is about getting it all. When you guys are with Spartan, you know, Tyco, Spartan fucking army, I'm going to tell you guys something real quick. This is a simple. This company is about getting in shape. I hope you guys know it's coming around to that. Do you guys want to get in shape? Yeah. Okay, cool. So everybody wants what we want, right? Do you want to be little? No. You have scrawny arms? No. You have a little chest? You want to be attractive? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, they want you to make money and be attractive. They want you to get what you want. Does that make sense? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying anything weird. I'm just not going to be normal. I'm not going to be like the rest of the world. Do you want to be in great shape? Yes, sir. Are you an athlete? Yes, sir. Okay. You go to work, you start grinding, you keep pushing hard, you guys chase the fucking doors all day long, you eat shit, you look up in a fucking year, and you're like, dude, my fucking life sucks. You wonder why you're burned out? It's because you don't have any fucking purpose, man. People don't burn out, they lose their purpose. When you lose your purpose, you're fucking. So here's what I want you to understand. So I can keep you guys fulfilled, making sales every day, crushing it at every door, you got to do two critical things. Number one, right now, you got to be real careful what you give your time to. Every single one of you in your life right now, you should be giving your time to just a couple things. Number one, give it to your fitness. Give it to yourself. You got to take care of yourself. The way that you take care of you is the way I feel you can take care of me. Number two, if he wants to have a lot of energy, if he wants to have a lot of energy, he's got to be in elite health. The good thing is, dude, in freaking 90 days, I can get you a six pack and get you in a great shape. That'd be fucking awesome, right? Yeah. That's it, man. You're a good dude. You got a good heart. The problem is you're probably not carrying yourself at the highest standard. You don't like how you look, so you're hiding behind clothes. All of a sudden, you start putting yourself in second, and then the business comes first, and all of a sudden, you become a trash can. You guys know what I mean? Okay, you know what depression is? Sad. People like feeling sorry for themselves. That shit comes when you don't take care of yourself. It's the only way it comes on you. Because you have to create that feeling. Somebody else can't tell you how I feel. Can I make you feel a certain way? No. You can decide to feel however you want. Am I right? Sure, yeah. I go to the gym every day. Okay. Physically, I'm taking care of myself. I'm becoming a leader. But this mindset, who I become, feeds this thing. And it tells me who I am. And it gives you the opportunity to create a new identity. So here's what you need. If I want to recreate his life, he said I'm not a leader, which that's a lie. He is a leader. And somebody sold him that lie. Maybe it was him, maybe it was somebody else, maybe it was the way he grew up, who gives a fuck? But now he's in front of me. So from this point forward, he is a leader. And your identity is gonna change. I want you to realize this, I was just like you. You guys are all the fucking same as everybody else. You guys are all humans, you're all alive. The question is, what are you fucking doing with your life? Solar can get you rich. You don't wanna get rich and become a piece of shit. 
You don't want to make a lot of money and have ups and downs. Do you guys want dependable success? Like every fucking month is great. Mm -hmm. Every month for me is great. You know why? I have discipline. So self-leadership is number one. The way that you carry yourself, you're a walking billboard. He is a walking billboard. I can see what he stands for before he opens his mouth. Okay, I look at his shoes, I look at his pants, I look at his, his clothes, I look at his hair, I look at his face, I look at how he's taking care of himself. I really can get a chance to check him out real quickly and I can make a decision before he even opens his mouth whether I want to hear what he's got to say. If you guys are listening to me right now, I just saved every one of your fucking lives. Okay, you guys that are overweight, some of you guys that are skinny, you guys listen, get your fucking shit right. Okay, it's not going to happen overnight, do you understand? Do you guys plan on living a long life? Yeah. Yeah. Good, this is the fucking long game. Will you live longer if you take care of yourself? Yeah. Okay. Dude, how many of you are in relationships? Okay. You think your girl likes the way you fucking look right now? I'm just asking. All right, do you think when she sees you, she's like, he's fucking hot? No. You're full of shit. Yeah, but my point is, you see another fucking dude in shape, you're like, fuck that guy. Dude, that guy is just being disciplined. That's all he's doing. He's not better than you. He's just do intentionally doing hard stuff every day, which, by the way, creates mental toughness. So my, this first step, I don't even care about step two and step three, and I'll tell you what they are, but this first step is all I care about in sales. Self-leadership. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andy. A lot of you leave comments telling me that you need help. Do me a favor. I'm going to tell you the best way to get a hold of me. Shoot me a text message right now, 918-210-0254. 918-210-0254. I'll help you with whatever you need. I got your back for life. Let's get back to the video. No one will let you lead them if you're not leading yourself. The way you talk, the way you speak. By the way, can you guys, what are your core values? Go ahead and write them down right now. What are your core values? What are your beliefs? How do you believe a human being should be? Okay, I got core values all around my building. Just write down real quick, what are your core values? How you should behave, what you wanna look like, you know, what are your standards? And, and by the way, core values can be standards. People don't always get their goals, but they always get their standards. What are your standards? You guys can finish this later, but I wanna tell you guys something real quick. Those standards and those core values, the way you speak, I should hear those standards and core values through your language, even when you're selling. Does that make sense? That means you're talking to the client. Hey, there's a pitch involved. I mean, I get all that, that there's some structure in our language, but at the end of the day, it's like, listen, I love people, and all I want to do is help people help themselves, okay? Look, I'm here today right now to talk about a decision that you guys have already made. You guys want to save money. You guys already made that decision before I even came to the door. Would you agree? Okay, question is how do we do it? My company has been allocated to this area because in the next 12 to 18 months, utility bills are gonna double or triple. So I got two quick questions. Number one, do you believe inflation is real? Do you, do you believe that inflation is gonna to continue to go up through the roof, yes or no? Are things costing more money? Are cars costing more money? Is gas costing more money? Is food costing more money? Is electricity costing more money? Yes or no? Cool, do you believe utility, do you believe energy is something you're gonna use all the days of your life? Are you always gonna use energy? Do you ever see yourself running your house off candles? Ever in your life? You're always gonna use energy, right? Is there an agreement in place with the current utility company right now that you have a set bill where you'll always know what you're gonna pay or can they charge you whatever they want? Just let me know. Well, if you said you wanna save money and you've already made that decision with your current utility company, there's no contract in place, which to me is a little bit scary that there's not an agreement in place on something that you wanna have for the rest of your life, knowing inflation's gonna go up, what is your bill gonna do? It's gonna keep going up. What if I told you there was an, a secondary energy option in which you could qualify for where it wouldn't go up? Would you want to know about it? Would you? Cool. Let me ask a couple questions. We'll see if you qualify. Maybe we can sit down and have a conversation. It's very easy. Listen, when you guys are talking to somebody, hey, you see the park truck over there, three houses down. I'm sure you saw us last week. Did you see the bill go up? Guys, I'm only going to ask questions that I know they'll say yes to. I am not changing your your, your, your sales pitch. I will not ask you a question that I know you won't say yes to. Hey, did you see the, uh, did you see the bills go up? Did you see it went up 10% last September? Do you, can you guarantee that I'll say yes to that? I won't ask it. I'm not telling you to change. I'm telling you I won't ask it. I'll say a statement, okay? They're crazy. Okay, listen, I'll say a statement. 
like Mr. and Mrs. Customer, research shows that last September, SRP went up by 10%. Okay, research shows. That's what we've learned. So we know the history of how energy works. See that? See that? Now they don't have to answer nothing. Now I'm giving them information. By the way, what did I say? Research shows what we've learned. Okay, so with that being said, we've also learned that in the next 12 to 18 months, utility bills are going to double or triple. Okay, so with that being said, if there was a secondary energy option in which you could qualify for that would allow you to save money and be inflation proof, would you want to know about it? Yeah? Cool. My name's Andy Elliott. Awesome. Now I'm at your front porch. Hey, I'm not stiff. I'm not weird. Hey, are you guys fucking cool? How do I know you're cool? Because I know I'm cool. Nah, bro. I got to know you're fucking cool. I don't care how cool you think you are. You got you to gotta be cool so I know it. Does that make sense? Well, I got to think I'm cool first for you to think. No, no, of course. But you ain't been that cool since I met you. <laughs> hey, he ain't been that cool. He's been quiet all morning, right? You guys get it? You feel me? Really? See, now you're starting to understand it. Listen to me. You guys are fucking walking billboards. Some of you walk in here. I know you just got down with a workout. And you're like, but you don't know, Andy. We worked out. Shut the fuck up. Okay? I don't give a fuck if you're down on your knees fucking throwing up because you're drunk at a party. Hold your fucking standard. Okay? Don't act like a little fucking bitch. Be strong. Fucking keep your shit together. Someone's watching. Are you a men are you a, Are you a leader? Yes. Okay. If you're a leader, that means anyone could be watching you at all times. You see him watching you? When he sees you, does that make him a better person? I don't know. When you watch him, does he make you better? He does. He's your buddy. He's fucking protecting you. Bullshit. <laughs> if he was a badass and he was leveling up every day, that motherfucker would want to be just like him. Can I ask all of you guys a question? Can you raise your standards so high in a self-leadership form that, number one, it does amazing things in your own life? And I, I believe that he deserves to know what his dream body looks like, what his paycheck would look like, what his clients would say to him when he became his best self. I believe that he deserves to know because I fucking know. I know because I do it every day. I was once out of shape. I was once totally different and I changed all that shit. Hey guys, I just want to tell you the true one percenters, you made it till the end of the video. Do me a favor, share it with a friend that wants to go to another level. Make sure you like the video, comment below so I know who you are. Set your notifications and then subscribe to the channel. We got daily sales training videos dropping. I'll see you soon. Control.